up YouTube, it's Adam back here and today I have a kickoff of a brand new series and actually this came from a comment that wasn't really related to it but um, I decided that it actually gave me a pretty good idea for a new series and that series is called Pimp My Custom. So basically, um, if you don't know, I think it's Lego Buff Productions but I was watching one of his Pimp My Lego sets or I'm not sure who that was, but um, I was watching one of their videos and it was about pimping Lego sets out and um, it looked pretty cool and I also got this comment from Lego Cash Productions, I believe, um, and he wanted me to recreate one of his customs, but I went a little bit of a different route and I'm sorry if you don't like it, but um, I decided to make a new series based off of taking your guys' c customs, um, you guys suggesting which one of your customs I recreate. I give a shout out to you and I recreate your custom, but I add some different details and aspects to it. So here is the first episode and he wanted me to recreate one of his clone survivors. So I went a different route and I uh, added a couple things and I'll show you a before up here and this is the after. Um, so the before is his custom obviously and I went a completely different route but I kept some of the main details and aspects of this um, like the helmet. Um, the green is a little bit of a lighter green, but um, it's also pretty cool. And if you'll notice, I kind of wanted to make this figure um, have like a handcrafted feel because he's a survivor and he's gathering supplies and he's doing all this stuff. So I kind of wanted to make everything kind of seem like it's been worn or it's been um, teared or basically all that. And uh, you can see I actually went around on the arms and I scratched off a couple areas just to give it a, a damaged look. Um, I also gave him a custom blaster and he is using a Geonosis Airborne Trooper uh, body and helmet. And halfway into making this, it kind of reminded me of the green arrow from all those uh, from the show and the DC Comics, or not the DC Comics, what am I saying? I think it's Marvel. Um, but correct me if I'm wrong, which usually I'm wrong, so yeah. But um, what I did with this figure is I did this um, cape, oops, uh, this cape, and I'm not entirely sure how I came up with the idea to do this, but um, what I did was I took a sheet of fabric about this long and I punched a hole in the middle with a hole puncher and that's where the head goes and then basically um, I'll just show you with a regular helmet um, whoops but basically I would just wrap it around the top and glue the top two sides together which uh, actually worked pretty well. Um, you can see where it was glued. And yeah, and then I added, I actually cut off some of the back and I added my own piece um, to it, which is pretty cool. It adds a nice look to it and it really makes it feel like it was made by this trooper and not pristine, which shouldn't be because he's a survivor. But um, anyway, so then I added this uh, uh, this little cape over his front and back torso, and it has a green outline, and it's kind of worn um, for obvious reasons, but, and then I attached a blaster to it. This blaster does actually not come off, but um, I wanted it to stay like that, and I didn't want to have another strap because... Um, at this point, I couldn't even fit it through there if I wanted to, and it would be kind of a hassle. So, but it does have a clip, and the sides are shortened, the handle is shortened, and the barrel is shortened, and, um, yeah. 
So now on to his arms. His arms have a piece of hand metal that right there you can kind of see it reflecting, but um, it's black. And he has four pieces of armor, all green. Um, and same thing over here. And then his helmet has uh, some detailing around the visor. And then it has two marks coming down on each side, uh, which really adds a nice look to it. Um, and I really like the way it turned out. And if I didn't mention it before, the hood has some green stripes going around the front of it. But um, yeah, so then there's a little uh, clip right here for his gun. Uh, yeah, so it's attached to his leg and the whole area around it is painted black and uh, there's fabric with some knee pads green and some more detailing on the legs some more wearing effect and yeah so that is that um, I will be doing these probably every Friday I guess so next uh, pretty much just Suggest any other uh, figure you would like me to pimp of yours, pretty much. Um, <laughs> just kind of deck out, and I will do it. So, yeah, that is that. I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe for more. And this is goodbye, and have a nice day. She is. So, this minifigure is probably one of my most detailed and probably my most accurate out of any of my other customs um, yet. There are a couple things I could fix, uh, the torso for example, and uh